Hello, I'm Charlie Taylor, your host for the next two hours. I want to first start by welcoming you to the Red Balloon, which is the most in-depth and informative look at industrial espionage and electronic eavesdropping ever presented in a video format. During the next two hours, I'm going to be discussing the general issues surrounding industrial espionage and how large this problem really is, and then give you an in-depth look at the world of electronic eavesdropping devices and techniques that are used to illegally steal your personal and corporate confidential information. Once you've developed an understanding about the real world of illegal eavesdropping devices and techniques, I'll then introduce to you which companies manufacture reliable eavesdropping detection equipment, as well as describe which equipment is needed to reliably detect most eavesdropping devices. For those of you who bought the red balloon because you're considering the possibility of hiring a company to sweep your offices and residences for eavesdropping devices, I will then take you through the steps that you need to follow and how to find a qualified company. Also included in this video are segments that will help you to establish the value of your trade secrets, as well as provide you with a broad overview of the legal issues surrounding electronic eavesdropping. All right, now let me tell you why this video is entitled The Red Balloon. As most of you know, the color red by itself is the color that most of us think of as a warning sign. And when we think of a balloon, most of us usually think of it as rising. As you will discover as you watch this video, the amount of losses and occurrences of industrial espionage is rapidly escalating, and yet most people are completely unaware of this significant problem. The knowledge held by most people is usually based upon events reported in the newspapers, magazines, or seen on television. And while this information may be useful to some degree, it fails to give you an accurate picture of this issue. For example, did you know that a survey by PricewaterhouseCoopers for the American Society for Industrial Security estimates that industrial espionage cost Fortune 1000 companies approximately $45 billion in 1999 alone. And in a report to Congress in 2003, the government estimates that such espionage activities cost American companies approximately $300 billion a year and is rising. And to be honest with you, this is just probably the tip of the iceberg. Whether you're the typical person on the street, an executive, law enforcement, or a security director, this video will help you to help yourself by providing the information you need to make better decisions. Right now, you're probably wondering, who is this guy and what kind of background do I have? So let me answer that question first, and then I'll explain how to best use this video. I promise you I'll try not to bore you with useless information. Professionally, I was the Director of Security for Houston Oil and Refining in the early 1980s when I first began my venture into the world of Technical Surveillance Countermeasures, or TSCM, which is a term of field for electronic eavesdropping detection. My journey began when I met the man who was convicted in the famous Hunt Brothers wiretapping case in Dallas, Texas in the 1970s. Now deceased, Pat McCann was one of the more significant players in the world of eavesdropping and was only caught after one of his associates reported the wiretaps to the government as part of a plea bargaining arrangement on a separate incident. It actually ended up rather funny since Pat had installed four wiretaps, and the associate had given the FBI tapes from all four wiretaps. However, after extensive searches, the FBI, Bell Telephone Company, and a team from Bell Labs could not find three of the four wiretaps. In other words, these supposedly knowledgeable experts were, in fact, rather ignorant about the real world of illegal wiretapping. Pat appreciated my hunger for knowledge and took me under his wing and taught me many of the intricacies of wiretapping and eavesdropping, and why they are so difficult but not impossible to detect when placed by a professional eavesdropper or wireman, as they were called in the old days. I frequently refer to my tutelage under Pat as my postgraduate studies and have used my knowledge to teach security, law enforcement, and members of the intelligence community about the real world of illegal eavesdropping. Most of this training was through the Texas A&M University system, where I was the coordinator and primary instructor for two courses, Basic Electronic Eavesdropping Detection and Advanced Telephone Eavesdropping Detection for several years. While associated with the Texas A&M system, I taught corporate security professionals from such companies as IBM, Texas Instruments, AT&T, 
Hughes Aircraft, the Bell Telephone Companies, and Bell Labs. I also taught federal, state, and local law enforcement personnel and numerous people from the intelligence community. I was also the primary author for the popular textbook, Telephone Eavesdropping and Detection, which has been extensively used by both the government and the private sector as the authoritative textbook on this subject. To finish, I started an engineering company in 1989, designing and building spread spectrum radio transmitter receiver systems for law enforcement and the commercial fleet communication sectors. I had built the company to about 85 employees. Then a virus attacked my heart, which led to a forced early and unwelcomed retirement. Since then, I've received countless phone calls from technical surveillance countermeasures professionals and clients seeking my advice, which is the primary reason I've prepared this video for you. It's also the primary reason that I'm the ideal person to present this information to you for my health significantly restricts my ability to perform TSEM services, so I've sold my company. And I present the information included in this video with no selfish motivation of trying to promote my services or sell any products to you. In other words, even though I'm not a professional TV talent and have a little bit of a Texas accent, I do have the training, experience, and knowledge to present this information and to do so from a neutral place. Okay, that's it for the introduction to the red balloon. Let me briefly tell you why this video is arranged the way it is. For a few of you, the material included in this video will be a little short on the knowledge you seek, while others who are simply wanting to understand the basic issues regarding industrial espionage and eavesdropping, the information may be a little overwhelming. Therefore, I've tried to create a video that will provide you the information that most of you will appreciate and benefit from. I've divided the red balloon into categories or chapters, which will allow you to easily access the information you seek directly from the DVD menu. Whether you're thinking about hiring a professional technical surveillance countermeasures professional to sweep your offices and residences, or you're simply trying to learn more about the industry, I suggest that you watch this entire video at least once so that you'll discover the real issues regarding electronic eavesdropping and the professionals who have dedicated their careers to the detection of those eavesdropping devices. The information I'm about to give you will help you to avoid wasting valuable time and money that you might have otherwise spent in ignorance. Okay, that's going to wrap it up for this chapter, and I hope we've gotten you off to a good start. In the next chapter, we're going to talk about some of the real issues surrounding industrial espionage. I'll see you there.